President Donald Trump wasting no time tweeting he will announce a high court nominee July 9th. I'm going to pick the right person. I'm going to pick somebody that's outstanding. Senate Republicans are promising a confirmation vote before the November midterm elections. The Senate will vote to confirm Justice Kennedy's successor this fall. The president's nominee should be considered fairly. Democrats still seething over Republicans' refusal to consider former President Barack Obama's final Supreme Court pick are warning of a rightward ideological shift at the Supreme Court that could impact abortion rights, health care, gay rights, and labor unions in America for decades to come. After Kennedy's departure, the Supreme Court will be evenly divided between justices appointed by Republican presidents and justices appointed by Democratic presidents. Whoever fills Justice Kennedy's seat on the court will have the opportunity to impact the laws of the United States and the rights of its citizens for a generation. Democrats will not be able to block Trump's nominee on their own, but could be joined by moderate Republicans who back abortion rights and oppose some of the names on Trump's list of potential nominees. I'm, I'm not going to go into which ones those are, but there are people on that list that, whom I could not vote for. In recent media interviews, Trump has declined to say whether views on abortion would be a deciding factor in choosing a nominee. But as a candidate in 2016, Trump signaled a clear intention to pave the way for overturning the Supreme Court's landmark 1973 decision establishing abortion rights nationwide. That will happen, and that'll happen automatically, in my opinion, because I am putting pro-life justices on the court. Last year, three Senate Democrats joined Republicans to confirm Trump's first Supreme Court nominee, Neil Gorsuch, a staunch judicial conservative. Trump could have even more high court vacancies to fill during his presidency, as Kennedy is one of four justices over the age of 70. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.